In an industry filled with dreamers, Glennie's Johns was one of the few who turned her dreams into reality. Born on October 5, 1923, in Pretoria, South Africa, this actress began her journey in the world of entertainment at a young age. By the time she was 18, she had already made a name for herself on the London stage. Throughout her career, Glennie's Johns graced both the stage and the silver screen, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. She starred in numerous films, including The Court Jester and Mary Poppins, where she played the role of the Bird Woman. Her performances in these films, as well as many others, showcased her incredible talent and versatility as an actress, but Glynis John's accomplishments extend far beyond her work in film. She was also a successful stage actress, appearing in numerous productions on Broadway and in the West End. Her performance in the Broadway production of A Majority of One earned her a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress in a Play. Despite her many accomplishments, Glynis Johns remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to act well into her later years, appearing in films and television shows up until the early 2000s. Throughout her career, Glynis Johns has left an undeniable mark on the world of entertainment. Her talent, versatility, and dedication to her craft have earned her a place in the hearts of audiences around the world. And while she may no longer be active in the industry, her legacy continues to live on through her many classic films and stage performances. Glynis Johns is a classic star with a long and successful career in the entertainment industry. She has been active since the 1930s and has appeared in numerous films, plays, and television shows. Some of her most famous roles include playing the title character in The Sundowners and Mistress Banks in Mary Poppins. Out of the many legendary works Glynis Johns has done, which one do you believe defined her career? Was it her role in The Sundowners, for which she received an Academy Award nomination, or her unforgettable performance as Mistress Banks in Mary Poppins? Which work of Glynis Johns do you hold closest to your heart? Is it one of her earlier films, like Mad About Men, or perhaps one of her more recent projects? We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Do you have a cherished memory of watching one of her films or seeing her on stage? Share your experiences in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Glynis Johns, so be sure to keep watching this video to learn more about this legendary actress. From her humble beginnings on the stage to her rise to fame in Hollywood, Glynis Johns has led a fascinating life and career. Glynis Johns, a British actress, was born in 1923 in Plymouth, England, to a family with a strong artistic background. Her mother, Ada Blanche, was a singer, an actor, while her father, Alan Johns, was a violinist and conductor. This upbringing in a creative environment sparked her interest in the performing arts from a young age. Johns' early exposure to dance led her to become a proficient ballet dancer by the age of seven. She later trained at the Bush Davies School of Theatre Arts, where she honed her skills in various dance forms and acting. Her talent and dedication earned her a spot in the original London production of St. George and the Dragon when she was just 16. A significant influence in John's life was her mother, who encouraged her to pursue a career in the arts. Blanche's own experiences in the entertainment industry provided Glynis with valuable insights and guidance. Additionally, John's early training at the Bush Davies School, under the tutelage of renowned dance instructors, played a crucial role in shaping her artistic abilities. The actress's natural talent and the support she received from her family and mentors propelled her to success in the world of theater and film. Her early exposure to the arts and the relationships she built with influential figures in the industry laid the foundation for a long and successful career which included iconic roles in films such as The Court Jester and Mary Poppins. Glynis Johns, a British actress, is well known for her work in films and theater. She was born in 1923 and started her career as a child actress. Her filmography includes a wide range of roles, showcasing her versatility as an actress. One of her most famous roles is in the film Mary Poppins, where she played the character of Mistress Banks. In this classic, she showcases her singing and dancing skills, which are truly delightful. Another must-watch film is The Ref, a dark comedy where she played the role of a grandmother. Her performance is both hilarious and heartwarming, making it a memorable watch. For those who enjoy period dramas, Madame Bovary is a great choice. Johns plays the role of a young woman who is trapped in a loveless marriage. Her portrayal of the character is both nuanced and powerful. If you're new to Glynis Johns' work, The Sundowners is a great place to start. This film is a classic tale of adventure and romance set in the Australian outback. 
John's performance as the wife of a nomadic sheepherder is both authentic and captivating. In addition to her work in films, John's has also had a successful career in theater. She has appeared in numerous plays and musicals, including A Little Night Music and The King and I. Overall, Glennis John's filmography is a testament to her talent and versatility as an actress. Her performances are both memorable and timeless, making her a classic in the world of film and theater. Even as a child, Glennis Johns was drawn to the stage. She began dancing at the age of seven, and soon after, she started performing in local theater productions. Her passion for acting was ignited when she saw a traveling theater troupe perform in her hometown. From that moment on, she knew she wanted to be an actress. At the age of 12, Glennis was accepted into the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. It was there that she honed her craft and developed her unique style. She quickly gained a reputation for her natural talent and her ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters. One of her earliest film roles was in the 1938 classic The Four Feathers. Although she only had a small part, she made a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Her performance was a pivotal experience that fueled her desire to pursue a career in film, despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout her career. Glennis never lost her passion for acting. She continued to work in film, television, and theater for over seven decades, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances that continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. After over a decade of avoiding the spotlight, actress Glennis Johns made a rare public appearance in 2023 for an interview with AB7 Eyewitness News to mark her 100th birthday. Despite her long career in film and theater, she has always struggled with stage fright. In 2021, following the death of Betty White, Glennis Johns became the oldest living Disney legend. Known for her roles in classic films such as Mary Poppins and The Court Jester, her contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated. Throughout her career, Glennis Johns has brought joy to audiences of all ages. Even as she reaches her 100th birthday, her legacy as a talented actress remains strong. It's clear that her work has left a lasting impact on the world of film and theater. Glennis Johns, a talented actress, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born in 1923 in Pretoria, South Africa, she moved to Britain at a young age. Financial struggles were a constant hurdle for Johns and her family. Despite these difficulties, she pursued her passion for dance and acting, attending the Bush Davies School of Theatre Arts. In the competitive world of theatre, Johns encountered industry skepticism. Her petite stature and unconventional looks led some to doubt her potential for success. However, the actress remained undeterred, using her unique qualities to her advantage. She embraced diverse roles, showcasing her versatility and range. Johns' breakthrough role in the film, The Man in Grey challenged the industry's initial perceptions. Her enchanting performance as the fiery and independent Hester Shaw captivated audiences. This classic film marked a turning point in her career, silencing the skeptics and solidifying her status as a talented actress. Throughout her career, Glennie's Johns continued to defy expectations, taking on a variety of roles in theater, film, and television. Her resilience and determination enabled her to overcome early obstacles and leave a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. After the death of Olivia de Havilland in 2020, the actress became the oldest surviving actor to have received an Oscar nomination. Glennie's Johns appeared alongside Niall McGuinness in No Highway in the Sky their second pairing after the film 49th Parallel 10 years earlier. The actress is the daughter of actor Mervyn Johns, with whom she co-starred in The Halfway House and The Sundowners. Glynis Johns, a British actress, is perhaps best known for her role as the quirky mother in the classic film Mary Poppins. However, her career spanned several decades and included numerous breakthrough moments. One such moment came in 1938 when Johns, then just a teenager, made her stage debut in St. Helena at the Lyric Theatre in London. Critics praised her performance, and she quickly became a sought-after actress in the British theatre scene. In the 1940s, Johns transitioned to film, appearing in a number of British productions. Her breakthrough film role came in 1945 with The Seventh Veil, vale, a psychological drama in which she played a concert pianist. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Johns' performance earned her a BAFTA nomination. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Johns continued to work in film and theater, earning critical acclaim for her performances in The Reluctant Debutante and A Taste of Honey. However, it was her role as Mistress Banks in Mary Poppins that solidified her status as a beloved actress. 
John's performance in Mary Poppins was praised for its warmth and humor, and her singing and dancing skills were also showcased in the film. The film's success led to a resurgence in John's career, and she continued to work in film and television throughout the 1970s and 1980s. In recent years, John's has been honored for her contributions to the entertainment industry. In 2018, she was awarded the BAFTA Fellowship, the organization's highest honor. According to peers and critics, John's ability to bring depth and nuance to her characters has been a hallmark of her career. Director George Cukor, who worked with John's on the Chapman Report, said of the actress, she has a rare gift for making even the smallest moments on screen seem alive with meaning. John's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. Her breakthrough moments in theater, film, and television have paved the way for future generations of actresses, and her legacy continues to resonate today. Glynis Johns, a British actress, began her career on the stage in the 1930s. As she moved to film in the 1940s, her style evolved from a more formal, stage-trained delivery to a more naturalistic one. In the 1950s, she showcased her comedic talents in films like The Court Jester and Mad About Men. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Johns adapted to changing trends in the film industry by taking on more mature and complex roles. In the 1960 film The Sundowners, she played a woman caught between her husband's nomadic lifestyle and her own desires. In the 1972 film Under Milk Wood, she gave a memorable performance as a woman rediscovering her sexuality. In the 1980s and 1990s, Johns continued to work in film, television, and theater. She appeared in the 1980 film Hawk the Slayer and the 1991 film The Magic of the Secret Garden. She also had a recurring role on the television show Superboy and starred in the Broadway production of A Room with a View. Throughout her career, Glynis Johns has demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt to changing trends in the film industry while remaining true to her unique acting style. Her evolution as an actress is a testament to her talent and versatility. Glynis Johns, a British actress, is known for her unique artistic vision and process. She approaches her work with a deep sense of dedication and commitment, often immersing herself in her roles to ensure authenticity. Her style is characterized by a naturalistic approach, where she strives to make her characters relatable and human. One of the things that sets Glynis Johns apart is her ability to infuse her personal experiences and worldview into her work. For instance, in the film The Sundowners, she brought a sense of warmth and resilience to her portrayal of a struggling farmer's wife, reflecting her own experiences growing up in a working-class family. In her television work, such as in the show Madam, she showcased her comedic timing and ability to bring depth to light-hearted roles. Her performances were often marked by a subtlety and nuance that made them all the more compelling. Moreover, Glynis Johns was not afraid to take on challenging roles even if they were unconventional for women in her time. In the film The Reflection of Fear, she played a complex and troubled character, showcasing her range as an actress. Despite her success, Glynis Johns remained grounded and dedicated to her craft. She continued to work well into her later years, appearing in films and television shows that span genres and styles. Her enduring legacy is a testament to her talent, versatility, and commitment to her art. Glynis John's first ex-husband, Anthony Forwood, was also the longtime partner and manager of Sir Dirk Bogard until Forwood's death in 1988. Before becoming a renowned actress, Johns attended South Hampstead High School in London, where she was a contemporary of Dame Angela Lansbury. John's career has spanned over seven decades, and she has made a significant impact in the film industry. In 1998, she was named a Disney legend in recognition of her contributions to Disney films and her enduring legacy. Her work in Disney's Mary Poppins as the Bird Woman is still cherished by audiences today. As a young actress, Johns appeared in several British films, including The Courtneys of Curzon Street and Quartet. She later moved on to American films, such as Mad About Men and The Sundowners, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Johns' talent extended beyond film, as she also made a name for herself on stage. She starred in several Broadway productions, including A Majority of One and The Gay Life, for which she received a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress in a Musical. In addition to her work in film and theater, Johns was also an accomplished singer and dancer. She starred in several musicals, including A Little Night Music and The King and I. Her talent and versatility as a performer have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, Johns has remained humble and dedicated to her craft, 
she continues to inspire aspiring actors and actresses with her timeless performances and enduring legacy. As a Disney legend and a respected actress, John's contributions to the entertainment industry will always be remembered. Glynis Johns, a British actress, left an indelible mark on the film and theater industry. Born in 1923, she began her career as a child actress, quickly gaining recognition for her talent. John's unique blend of charm, wit, and versatility allowed her to transition seamlessly between stage and screen. Her performance in The Ghost and Mistress Muir showcased her ability to captivate audiences, earning her a place among Hollywood's elite. John's portrayal of a playful and independent young widow in this classic film remains memorable to this day. In 1956, John starred in the beloved musical Mary Poppins, where she played the role of the Bird Woman. This classic film, still adored by audiences today, further solidified John's status as a talented actress and singer. John's contributions extend beyond her on-screen performances. She was a trailblazer for women in the industry, becoming one of the first female producers in Hollywood. Her production company, Glennie's John's Productions, allowed her to take control of her career and paved the way for future generations of women in the industry. Industry experts and those inspired by Johns have praised her impact on the industry. According to film critic Leonard Moulton, Glynis Johns brought a unique blend of charm, wit, and versatility to every role she played. Her influence can be seen in the work of modern actresses such as Emma Thompson and Julie Andrews. In conclusion, Glynis Johns' contributions to the film and theater industry are still felt today. Her talent, versatility, and groundbreaking work as a female producer have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to inspire future generations of actors and producers. Glynis Johns made her theatrical debut at just three weeks old, carried on to the stage by her grandmother. As a child, she joined the London Ballet School and was hailed as a dancing wonder by the age of six. By 10, she was working as a ballet instructor, and by 11, she had earned a degree to teach. In the 1947 film A Christmas Carol, Glynis John's father, Mervyn Johns, played Bob Cratchit, while Glynis played Mistress Winifred Banks in the 1964 film Mary Poppins. Interestingly, Hermione Baddeley, who played Mistress Cratchit in A Christmas Carol, also appeared in Mary Poppins as Ellen, the maid to Glynis John's character. Glynis John's talent and hard work were evident from a young age. Her natural ability and dedication to ballet led her to become a dancing prodigy and her acting skills were recognized and appreciated by audiences and critics alike. Despite the passage of time, her performances in A Christmas Carol and Mary Poppins remain classics and continue to captivate audiences today. Glanys Johns, a British actress, is known for her work in films and on stage. However, her life extends beyond the silver screen, and her personal values and interests have often informed her work. Johns has always been passionate about music and dance, she began her career as a ballet dancer before transitioning to acting, and these early experiences have influenced many of her roles. In the 1953 film Mad About Music, Johns played a pianist and singer, showcasing her musical talents. She also starred in the Broadway production of A Little Night Music, where she sang the iconic song Send in the Clowns. In addition to her love of the arts, Johns is also an advocate for various social and environmental causes. She has been involved with several animal welfare organizations and has been a vocal supporter of environmental conservation efforts. In 1989, she was appointed a patron of the World Wildlife Fund UK. John's personal values are also reflected in her approach to her work. She has often spoken about the importance of authenticity and has been known to reject roles that she feels are not true to her artistic vision. In a 1964 interview, she stated, I don't want to do anything that doesn't ring true to me. Despite her many accolades and successful career, Johns remains humble and down-to-earth. She has been described as a straightforward and no-nonsense person who values her privacy and personal relationships. In summary, Glennie's Johns is not only a talented actress, but also a passionate advocate for various social and environmental causes. Her love of music and dance has influenced many of her roles, and her commitment to authenticity has shaped her approach to her work. Despite her success, she remains humble and dedicated to her personal values and relationships. Glynis Johns is known for her role as Lady Penelope Pizup in the Batman series, where she shared the screen with five Oscar winners and eight Oscar nominees. Her co-stars included Anne Baxter, 
Cliff Robertson, George Sanders, Art Carney, and Shelley Winters, as well as Burgess Meredith, Victor Biono, and Carolyn Jones. The actress is also remembered for her work in the musical A Little Night Music, in which Stephen Sondheim wrote the song Send in the Clowns with shorter phrasing to accommodate her unique vocal style. Her voice has been described as smoky, silvery, and wistful, but she had difficulty sustaining notes for long periods of time. Additionally, Glennis Johns can be seen on the cover of the album Led Zeppelin II by Led Zeppelin. Her image graces the front of the classic rock record, which was released in 1969, and has since become one of the band's most popular albums. In total, Glennis Johns has had a varied and successful career in both film and theater, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her contributions and legacy continue to be celebrated by fans and industry professionals alike. Despite the challenges she faced, the actress persevered and made her mark on the world of entertainment. Glynis Johns, a revered actress, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her legacy lies in her ability to portray a myriad of characters with authenticity and grace. From her debut in the contract to her iconic role in Mary Poppins, she has captivated audiences worldwide. Johns' contributions extend beyond her on-screen performances. She was a trailblazer for women in the industry advocating for equal pay and opportunities for actresses. Her work in promoting gender equality continues to resonate today. As for the future, John's impact will undoubtedly inspire aspiring professionals in the field. Her advice for those looking to make their mark is simple stay true to yourself and never stop learning. Find your unique voice and don't be afraid to use it, she says. Take risks, challenge yourself, and always be open to growth. John's own career is a testament to the power of perseverance and dedication. She has left behind a legacy that will continue to inspire generations to come, and her advice serves as a guiding light for those looking to follow in her footsteps. After Angela Lansbury's passing, Glynnie Johns remains the sole surviving cast member of The Court Jester. In this classic, she portrayed Maid Jean, showcasing her acting range. Glynnie Johns is best known for her role as Mistress Winifred Banks, the children's mother in Disney's musical Mary Poppins. Her portrayal of a nurturing yet strong-willed character resonates with audiences even today. In Around the World in 80 Days, Glynnie's Johns shared the screen with eight Academy Award winners and seven nominees. As the sporting lady's companion, she held her own among Hollywood's elite, contributing to the film's star-studded ensemble. Glynnie's Johns, a British actress, began her journey in the entertainment industry at a young age. Her passion for dance led her to the stage, where she starred in various productions, including A Little Minister and Me and My Girl. This classic musical showcased her exceptional tap dancing skills and versatile talent, earning her a Tony Award nomination. In the 1950s, the actress transitioned to film, delivering memorable performances in The Man in the White Suit and Mad About Men. Her unique charm and captivating presence resonated with audiences, paving the way for more opportunities. In 1964, she starred in the beloved film Mary Poppins as the Bird Woman, a role that left an indelible mark on cinema history. Throughout her career, Glennis Johns continued to innovate and challenge herself, taking on diverse roles in television and film, her work in The Ref, and While You Were Sleeping showcased her ability to adapt and excel in various genres. This actress's enduring impact on the entertainment industry serves as a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her journey reminds us that with passion and dedication, one can leave a lasting legacy in the world of arts and entertainment. Indeed, the tapestry of her life's work remains etched in the annals of cinema and theater history, inspiring generations to come. Following the death of Zia Gabor in 2016, Glynis Johns became the oldest surviving Batman guest villain cast member. She appeared in the television series episode Sing a Song of Murder of Murder, she wrote where she previously worked with series star Angela Lansbury in the classic comedy The Court Jester. In The Thief of Baghdad, Glynnie's Johns played the role of Princess's Maid, alongside John Justin, who was the last surviving credited cast member when he died in 2002 at the age of 85. However, as of October 2022, Glynnie's Johns, who has a small uncredited role in the film, is still alive at the age of 99. Linus Johns, a talented actress, is also known as the mother of actor Gareth Forwood. Throughout her life, she was predeceased by all four of her husbands. Her career includes many notable achievements, such as winning a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical in 1973 for her role in A Little Night Music, 
This recognition highlights her ability to shine in various artistic endeavors, including musical theater. The actress's success in this classic show underscores her versatility and adaptability as a performer. Her impact on the industry continues to be felt, as her work has left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Glynis Johns has been married and divorced four times. Her first husband, Anthony Forwood, is the father of her only child, Gareth Forwood. Her second husband, David Ramsey Foster, was a World War II hero who later became the chairman of Colgate Palmolive International. Her third marriage to Cecil Peter L. Henderson lasted only a year. Her fourth husband, Elliot Arnold, was a writer and essayist who penned a night of watching Camp Grant Massacre and Personal Combat. The actress's voice has been described as like the sound of a brook burbling over a pebbled bed. This soothing and calming voice has been a trademark of her performances in film and theater. In the year 2024, with the passing of Julie Andrews, Dick Van Dyke, and Karen Dutras will be the last surviving cast members of the classic film, Mary Poppins, in which Glynis Johns also starred. Her role as Mistress Banks in the film remains one of her most memorable performances. Glynis Johns, a talented actress, was born to a musically inclined family. Her mother, Alice Maud Steele Wareham, also known as Ali Steele Payne or Ali Steele, was an Australian concert pianist. Johns' stepmother was the actress Diana Churchill. Throughout her career, Johns has been a part of four films nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture 49th Parallel, Around the World in 80 Days, The Sundowners, and Mary Poppins. Among these, Only Around the World in 80 Days won the prestigious award. John's work in these films showcases her versatility and range as an actress, making her a valuable addition to each production. Her ability to shine in various roles, from dramatic to comedic, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Glennie's Johns, a talented actress, was born to parents who met while studying in London. Her father attended the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, while her mother studied at the Royal Academy of Music. From a young age, John showed a keen interest in performing arts eventually leading her to pursue a career in acting. John's career spanned over seven decades, during which she appeared in numerous films, plays, and television shows. She made her film debut in 1938, appearing in the British drama South Riding. However, it was her role as the quirky and lovable Desiree Armfelt in the 1975 film A Little Night Music that earned her widespread recognition and critical acclaim. In addition to her work in films, John's also had a successful career on stage. She made her Broadway debut in 1948, appearing in the play The Importance of Being Earnest. Her performance was highly praised, and she went on to appear in several other Broadway productions, including The Waltz of the Toreaders and a majority of one. Throughout her career, Johns was known for her versatility and ability to portray complex and nuanced characters. She played a wide range of roles, from comedic to dramatic, and was equally convincing in each. Johns' contributions to the world of acting are still celebrated today. Her legacy lives on in the many films and plays she appeared in, as well as in the memories of the countless fans who were touched by her performances. Her talent and dedication to her craft continue to inspire new generations of actors and audiences alike. Glennis Johns, the actress known for her work in Mary Poppins and The Court Jester, has had an impressive career spanning over seven decades. With her unique charm and versatile talent, she has left an indelible mark on the film and theater world. Throughout her career, Glennie's Johns has captivated audiences with her diverse range of roles. From playing the beloved Birdwoman in Mary Poppins to the cunning spy in The Sundowners, she has proven herself to be a true thespian. This classic actress has also made her mark on the stage, with notable performances in plays such as A Majority of One and The Anniversary. Her talent and dedication to her craft have earned her a place as one of the most respected and admired actresses of her time. As we reflect on Glynnie's John's impressive body of work, we would love to hear your thoughts on her contributions to the entertainment industry. What are some of your favorite roles of hers? How has her work impacted you? Don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family, and be sure to subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments.